All right. Adam and Wax Show, episode five, maybe? Five, six, six. Flacco was just accosting me, saying that he wants to be on a future episode. So let us know down below in the comments if you like that idea. Also, click the like button. What if we hit 5,000 likes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> let me see 5,000 likes. You like that? That's yeah, a good number, Flacco, right? Yeah, bro, he can't wear them shorts. What shorts? I think he's wearing pants today, isn't he? Man, they should be having some shorts stop up here, bro. It's... It ain't cool. Bro. I think he started ordering all his clothes like from Africa. Huh? So they got a different vibe. It's you can't get out here. Flacco, he can't. He shouldn't be wearing them. If he show up here in some leotards, it's over with, bro. What is a leotard? Is it like huh? a, it's like a unitard? Yeah, you know them the tight the whole unit. A leotard. But the leotard like was his arms and legs as well. Everything. Mm. He show up with that. I know, but see you. You know, Adam, you have an effect on people. What about a wetsuit? Nah, nah, nah. We need to get off that subject. <laughs> Just all kinds of different tight outfits. That start belly dancing on TV. I don't know. <sighs> Flacco said something about calling the police on somebody, didn't he? Flacco's going to call the police? He, he said something. He was reporting somebody. Really? Yeah. I can't be mad at that. That's a good technique. Ooh. Oh, he's going to report this uh, scammer rapper from Detroit named Punch, Punch Made Dev. Why would he do to Flacco? I'm not sure. What did he do to Flacco? He's just sending out Flacco's social security. Oh, he's sending out Flacco's social oh, security he number. Him. I guess. Flacco, nigga, your shit ain't worth nothing. You cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is Flacco so worried about? I feel like Flacco and him are probably conspiring on going viral together. Could be. That's what everybody's doing these days. We don't do that. No, no, no. It's everything we Could talk about is just straight beef. Although I did with Destiny, I told you, I'm like, hey, I, t I texted Wag. I'm like, just so you know, this guy's about the smartest dude you ever met in your life. I'm like, I, I said, feel free to troll him. So if 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 you want to watch that episode and wonder what was going through <laughs> Wag's head, just know that I told Wag, feel free to troll him, and I wanted to Destiny see how he would cool. hold up under the pressure. Yeah, he but, held up. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. he's confident. He wanted them white dudes who just don't care. No, yeah, he's in his own world. Yeah, he don't. He's just a wanderer. I feel like you and him have a long friendship ahead of you. He cool. I like him. He's a cool dude. We can tap in in Miami. He cool. Oh, yeah, he live in Miami. I got to check in. Yeah. <clears throat> Destiny got the blue hair. Destiny with the blue hair. And he got an open relationship, so maybe you and him could get into some nah, freaky stuff. No, that, man. No? I'm going to leave that up to you. Yeah. Oh, I hear you finna let somebody else hit your wife. Who? I don't know. I was seeing something. Maybe that's just a bunch of people. Everybody wants to give it a shot. Everybody's trying Budden. to get in there. Joe Budden wants it? Joe Budden. That might make some money. I don't think he can handle it. No? Nah, he got a little Newport dick. Well, there you go talking about motherfucker. How you know what kind of dick he got, man? I just feel like those Newports, uh, for all those years, so do you be Peter gotta Gaze take a toll on your dick. Actually, man, he's a, Mar he's a Marlboro Light guy, I think. Yo, you Peter Gage, you be like looking at a nigga's crotch, you be like. Yeah, I watch the JBP, and I'm thinking about their dick sizes. <laughs> In my head, I'm trying to figure out, like, what, what's Queens Flip packing? So how does it feel to be telling somebody they were going to have a no-fly zone in L.A., the dude who had sex with your wife. Jason Love. Two. That was just a joke for the record. Two. I'm not really trying to police that. Yo ass damn man got no no-fly zone. Who's telling me I can't fly? I'm fly right now. You know AD coming today. Yeah, you keep saying that. I think you're trying to get me a little, like, nervous. No, you coming. Nervous for what? I don't know. Like, like I feel like you're trying to get me out of my zone. How did y'all get that far? I spoke honestly about him on a podcast, and he tripped out. What did you say honestly? Well, the first thing that happened was that I interviewed Snoopy Badass, your friend. and AD ain't tripping that you interviewed him. Stop doing no, that. No, but that bro. is what originally caused him to kind of start talking about me was the fact that I asked Snoopy Badass, did you, you know, because he had a video at one point basically saying he was Squabble AD, calling AD a whack 100 sympathizer, et cetera. Snoopy's a whack 100 sympathizer. No, he is a whack 100 hater. No. <laughs> Why? Why? I go on that phone. Bro, anybody that finds your number and calls you, hey, big homie, hey, big homie, yo, wait, it's me, Snoopy Badass. I'm from Paul Rook. Can we? I, I got a few questions. Can you help me? Come on, bro. You can't. Go from that to that. He thought you hired Gina to film him the whole time that he was in there as well. Who? Gina Views. To film him where? Last time, or not this time, but the other time when he did the interview, he was convinced because he saw Gina filming him 
he was convinced that that was footage that she was going to give to you. I got that much real estate in his hand? I just don't know why. Like, why would That's crazy. You hi- and what What would you do? Like, how are you going to better get the drop on him because Gina sent you a video of him Ain't just walking around looking, the office? Look, dude ain't been from, like, three hoods. I think two. He nope. said there's no pictures of him from the first one. Neighborhood something, Paris. The dude, the, the clips is up. Right. He was like, somebody blew three or something. Um, the other shit, the green gang, whatever that shit, they wear green. And then Hollywood, it's three. Well, He's been a crip twice. Whatever. He, he he did his thing on the interview. Great interview. Hilarious content. He just, he really he went in. Check the shit out of Brick Baby. Yeah. And I'm going to be real. Brick Baby is the favor in that situation. Why? Because I don't think Brick Baby's a weenie like dude. Okay. I think Brick Baby hypes himself up <clears throat> a little more than he should, but I don't think like he didn't been like three different neighborhoods and all this shit. So in that allegedly. situation, no, ain't no allegedly. Allegedly. And uh, they got pictures and everything of it. Okay. Well, either way, Brick Baby, I think, did the responsible thing because that could have easily turned into a wild ass situation. Here go where Brick had Baby going attention. wrong at. Brick, Brick Baby don't want to do an almighty suspect and end up getting in a fight with the guest. I think he wants to keep the job, keep shit cool. So he, in that moment, he turned it down a little bit just to avoid it becoming some wild ass situation. This where Brick Baby got to adjust. Okay. When you come in here, you come to work. Mm-hmm. Too much of his street lingo. It's part of his conversation. Mm. And when you on hooding and on hooding, depending on the topic of the conversation, and a nigga hit you with, nigga on paru and challenge that. Now, at that point in time, that shit is bigger than this table. So what he need to do is leave the on hood shit out and just have conversation. That way, if it heats up, it's just conversation. But when that type of shit get to going on, mm. that's a challenging situation. That might not be the worst advice. I'm not going to tell him to do that, but I could see how <clears> that, real that shit. might be a good idea. Snoopy Badass won that. He won that one. And he shouldn't have. I don't know. No, he shouldn't have. That's for the streets to decide. No, he shouldn't have. But you in the streets? Like, I live on a street. Yeah, you in the streets. You know, you talking crazy about AD. No, it's like they they were talking. But would you say that about, to AD face? Of course, they were saying how they were going to get Hold me on. on the podcast, right? You telling me you would say that to AD's face? What you think that I'm a, a coward of some sort? I wasn't even really talking about AD because AD wasn't the one saying that he was going to do something to me physically. So I didn't I, I didn't shit. challenge him in that These regard. I don't know why. If you ever put on something that's too tight? Yeah, you do it every day. Huh? <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> where'd, you, where'd you get that? So uh, what you gonna say, to AD face? <laughs> where'd you get that? Huh? Like what? 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 Do they oh, have that in the mall? I don't know. Are you scared now? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay. Huh? Are you scared now? <laughs> yeah. Huh? You don't like black people. Huh? <laughs> the way you said it to what Destiny. Happened? <laughs> huh? I told you AD was pulling up. Okay, I get huh? it. That's pretty good. Huh? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so now me and you and AD. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at my man. He's orchestrating content. Yeah. He's making uh, content happen. I told you AD was pulling up. They thought he was just he a club house. He against me, huh? <laughs> I told him AD gonna be here today. I heard you having the conversation, and I still was thinking like, "Shut the fuck up! What are you talking about?" Shout out to nephew. See right. the smile? Yeah. You miss him? <laughs> yeah. There we go. When I look at those teeth. So now. Yeah. I hear y'all was having a money dispute. Not really. That was one thing he got mad about, though, is that when I was on Bootleg Kev, they Bootleg Kev said those dudes are probably making more money now than when they were on No Jumper. I said no. That's a great I assumption. I don't if believe he's it. He's keeping everything. I mean, I see what they're doing on the Fig Munity channel. They do one podcast a, a week. Oh, that's it. Yeah. So to well, me, what did he do a week over here? Oh, uh, like a ton. Like my work ethic is just on a different level. No, Let's what be did real. AD? Because he only oh when he was he here, only ate off of what he killed. Right no, when, when he did he did the No Jumper Show podcast uh, co-hosting, and then he did his own podcast, and then he did random news appearances, and he did the food show. So he was doing like 15 of them? No, he's doing like, I guess like three, four. 
pieces of content out of an average week. A, a week? Probably about that. Throw the food show in there. It might be five. That wasn't like super consistent. But yeah, I was just honest when I was on the Blue Light Kev thing. This is my whole thing is that when they left and it felt like I was down, they were dancing around, having fun, shitting on my grave, et cetera, having a good old time. But when were you down? I guess like right when they left for like a month or two, the views were kind of lagging. We were still oh, getting it, our shit together it? in terms of the hosts and everything. Were you even doing, co- I mean, was, was, you, wasn't a lot of interviews or what? Slowed down maybe for a little bit, but you know, they, they were having a grand old time shitting on my demise and calling this a sinking ship and everything. And so now that the tables have turned and their shit is sliding and our shit is boom, going straight up on those charts. So can you look at and see what they're doing versus, okay, so you and AD had a show, right? He was the co-host on the show. That was really what caused the whole thing to fall apart is I took him off that show. There was UAD and who else? Lush. On okay. King David. So what did what did those average? 250K, maybe 300 at a certain point. Oh, so our show is... is um... We're up there. Oh. Uh, basically, our show is doing better than any of the shows in their universe or ours. But, I mean, we are ghosts. So that was a good... So that, so that was a good... So you got to remember, um, <clears throat> for real shit, <clears throat> when you're a boss... And you pile in it, you know, you got to know when to make a move. Yeah. I didn't call Adam. Adam said, sitting back. Then you might have been out the country sitting mm-hmm. back. And like he's supposed to, he like, shit, okay. What's out there? Dude, I was, I didn't think nothing of it. I'm not going to lie. That man, Remo, gave me the idea to do a show with you at least like a month or two before I actually hit you up to do it. I was a little too. Was that when they was all still here? No, after. I was a oh. little bit nervous about. Nervous about what? Oh, well, you know, you're kind of a spicy guy. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Pause. We didn't. You you kind of know me now, right? I know a part of you. Okay. The publicly facing part. <clears throat> so, what what was it that made you nervous? That now you're like, I right, that's not it. Because I meet a lot of people and they say. The more we around you, bro, we see the other shit's bullshit. I mean, yeah, we're just waiting for the sugar to come out you. Yo, why? Listen, <laughs> I don't want to be 57 <laughs> doing 28 years. Right. No, that's that's all bad. No, that's wrong. Right. Why you think my studios and I don't operate like that? Why people think I'm on some sugar shit? Well, have you ever listened to yourself on Clubhouse? What? I mean, you quite frequently will be banging on somebody, making it sound like Do you I... are in your Suge Knight Am era Am I responding? Still. I mean, yeah, but a lot of times we don't get to hear what you're responding to, so maybe there is something valid that you're responding to. That being said, a lot of times it feels like you're the one up, the in, the, up way, in the energy. I was the same way when them dudes from New York was trying to attack you, and I brought you on the stage. I defended you the same way. Wait, what? Oh, oh, oh okay. Same on, cl- way, on Clubhouse. Was, he means yeah, vir- like, virtual I, stage. Yeah, I was like, bro, um... That's some bullshit. Mm. So I think I get the short end of the stick. For one, I'm an Aries. I'm never going to speak on anything unless I absolutely know. I'll shut the fuck up. You are so full of shit. What? You Tell- accuse people of stuff all the time without Give me fucking. One. Uh, what was it? Remo, do some research. Let me know. Give me one. <laughs> Give me one. Um. You you said 21 Savage is a snitch based on like the worst evidence He's in I've the, ever you, seen. No, no. He's enrolled in the U visa program. Right. For those of you guys listening, okay. <clears throat> go to ICE, right? That's look up U visa program. The only way you can enroll and be active is if you g- agree to cooperate with law enforcement. That's it. But he did this as a small child? No. When he came He's over. enrolled, he's in there. It's no different than Donnie Brasco and any of these other motherfuckers. Once you enroll, do you know right now they pay these um, people 88000 a year to inform? Well, thank God the 21 Savage is keeping his nose clean. No, but hold on. Hold on. So this is what brought it on. You caught a drug and a gun case right. in 2019, right? Mm-hmm. You're enrolled in the U visa program. You are not a U.S. citizen. Right? 
Your passport has been revoked. It's there. It's documented. If a guy from Mexico or Salvador commits a robbery or gets caught here with a weapon or whatever, gets goes to jail, gets sentenced, they're going to make him serve out his sentence in the California State Penitentiary. When they release him, they're going to release him to ICE, and ICE is going to deport him because they committed a felony. Real shit. It's been four years with a guy that's enrolled in the U visa program. Go look it up. I wish I didn't give you an example. Fuck the I, fans. I don't want to put him back on trial. Hold on, bro. Four years, no court. I have a solution. No court. We send 21 Savage to Guantanamo Bay. Listen. We waterboard the truth Hold out on. of him. Make sense of that. Four years, no court, but you're enrolled in the U visa program. Fuck you a fan. Fuck all that. We just talking real facts. I can't ignore my fandom. That slaughter so gang you saying, shit. So you saying that he's not enrolled in the U visa program? I don't know. I just, you know, you I, I'm, put, I'm you, not the snitch declarer. No, do you want to, you, you saying he's not? I, I'm not familiar with his legal status oh, okay. as an immigrant. Is it a little abnormal not to have a court date in four years? I mean, it was a little abnormal when he was at the slut walk with the I'm a ho sign. Well, no, he was just telling his truth. <laughs> <laughs> you set him up for that one. Sorry, 21. <laughs> you know, but he started that with me, though. Right. I've been new this shit. Okay. Till he came fucking with me. You know, I know shit. I won't say nothing to you. But if you come fucking with me, then it's what it is. Side note, did you see the, I went to Paramount. To where? Paramount. What you mean, the label? No, the city. Oh, for what? We did a little vlog. We went to Fatima's Grill, Swifty Blue. We tapped in, checked in. Oh, yeah, that is where you're from. Yeah. It was hey, cool. What you do? I mean, you fit in over there. Yeah, it was pretty, seemed like a pretty squeaky clean place. I, I don't know what lurks beneath the Paramount, surface. Yeah, I mean, it's a few gangs over there, but I think overall, they clean it up everywhere, bro. We went and uh, hung out with some junkies by the McDonald's out in front of the liquor store. Some I, th I think they cut it out of the vlog, honestly. It might have seemed kind of awkward. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think they did, right? They cut it out. Swifty Blue was just. AD with yeah, me, okay. Man. Yeah, he's, he's still yeah. proud of himself. Y'all yeah, gonna wave at yeah. him? Um, yeah. Okay, what, why did you. I played a piece of audio on the podcast where you were basically going in on certain people. Who, bro? Don't be doing that punk shit. Who, bro? Fucking what names? You didn't say names, but it felt like you were talking to some people associated with him. And I played it on here. I oh, you talking about like when they were saying they're going to do something to you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm like, nobody's going to do nothing to Adam. Adam's going to call the police. Yeah, I called their bluff. I, and I, I, mean, I didn't say I was going to call the police. They, I don't know where that's You don't have from. to say that. We know you are. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's why you keep me around is because you know that having a white boy around will allow you to utilize the police. I do not keep you around me. I well. come to you here and I leave. <laughs> I do not. Keep I've never you seen you anywhere else outside of one place. That's not true. 2018. Where at your it? concert at Rolling Loud? No, I, you're no jumper thing. Oh, okay. But Rolling Loud too. I seen you get in a little fight there too. Rolling Loud. That was crazy. Never had a fight. Well, it was a situation. I never had a fight. It was crazy. I was just standing there eating some chicken, and all of a sudden I was look up. I said, oh, crazy. Fake. Crazy people flying everywhere. There's dust being kicked up. You mean you seen people running? Keep it real. I didn't see what happened, and I never really got a, a, yeah, you a totally straight answer running. on what happened. The motherfucker. And hey, then mother I see Whack running around like a crazed pit bull, just just trying to figure out who did what. And it was. Yeah, you know when you run, like listen, the day this how you know the streets is some on some busted shit. Streets is dead. If I swing on somebody. Mm. And I turn around and run. They're gonna say, "Whack, use a bitch." Mm. If you run, yeah. yeah. Okay. But if a motherfucker swing on me mm. and turn around and run, they're gonna say, "Well, at least he swung on you." Hmm. Well, if there's a good video of the person running afterwards, I feel like that would be. If you see me, them. if you see me advancing, mm -hmm. and the security stopping. Somebody's running. Okay. This is what it is. I ain't seen that dude in years. In years. We've been, boy, he knew. Boy, we was boy. Boy? Yeah. What's he you? know. You know. You're looking I for played him? a long game. 
Okay. I just think you might run into him sooner or later. We're going to run into him. Uh, you know, figure it out. He moved a couple times. I hope I'm not around for that. It is what it is. Okay. But so who are you talking about in that video when you said you were? No, they said something about uh, Pun. Or you, what, you somebody know said that. I know Pun. Okay. Pun managed a bunch of producers. Okay. But I don't understand how you and Pun got into it. Pun was just talking spicy. AD was kind of keeping it a little political, not getting all crazy and stuff. And then meanwhile, Pun is sitting over there talking crazy like he's going to violate me, like he's going to be waiting out here, he's going to do something to me. Didn't and Pun so, used to be here? He would be around just because AD was his client. But uh, then I went on here, and I basically said, I'm not scared of you. I don't give a fuck. Do whatever the fuck you think you're going to do. And then he totally changed his whole tune, and now he's like, oh, you know, you can't do something violent to this guy. He's going to call the police, whatever. That was my whole point, is that these guys were all kicking dirt on me when they thought I was down. Now that it is very clear that that's not how this is going to play out, that No Jumper is going to continue to be a very, very big force in hip-hop, and that they are going to have to realistically probably switch some shit up and, and, and just work harder if they want Fig Immunity World to ever be on the same level. And so I, I just challenged them to that. I said, hey, get a million views. Didn't hear anything about that. I just heard some, I'm going to beat you up. You don't think AD could get a million views? Well, I don't think he has yet, right? I, I haven't looked. He had a YouTube short about bending his hat brim. I don't know if that counts. Would you bet him that he wouldn't get a that's million views? That's what I said. I, I didn't put money on it, but that's Would what you I bet said. Him? And I said, get a million views without talking about me, which seems like probably that's an even more daunting I task. I think he can get a million views. Well, the proof I is going to have to be in the pudding. Pause. So it has to be a million on one thing, or can it be a million? No, one thing. Associated. Yeah, one thing. One piece. The of shorts content. and everything. It got to be one thing. I feel like shorts are kind of cheating, but ain't nothing wrong with cheating. I will give some points to that. Yeah, you would say that. <laughs> you cheat every day. She just give you permission to. It's not cheating if she's on board. I don't cheat no more. Yeah, well, you don't got nobody to cheat on now, right? Who? Hmm? You think a guy like me is? is you got a new sitch. Wait, no, do you think a guy like me is like, bro, I don't do drugs, I'm not an alcoholic. That's the problem. I make legal money. You start doing drugs, you'll get some pussy. I got some thugs in me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The guy who has the coke with him is getting some pussy. Nah. Uh, maybe, I'm a ratchet bitch. I don't think I want to take on that responsibility at this point in my life, but throughout all my years, if you got coke, them girls are going to be following, or, following you around like the Pied Piper. B. James. You know B. James. He kept playing. So I got to know him. Come to find out, he, he's a pedophile. Oh, really? Wow. We got his paperwork. He fucked a 14-year-old girl, ran a train, got her pregnant. See, I said, look, see, I didn't know you. They got a Baltimore. Be the bitch B. James. Pedophile. I don't, I don't know. No, but I'm saying, what is the he? fact that or... I didn't know him, he had some shit called the Predator Suites with his other weird dude. But um, he had this ex-girlfriend named Tia Beanie. She, was, uh, she called me for $30 gas money. I'm about to show you. Really? Look. FaceTime. I mean, shit. $30 so I told her, That's pretty good. stand on one leg, hop like a rabbit, and bark like a dog. It's like a sobriety test. Yo, she did this shit, bro. She stood. I couldn't believe it. What? This is his girl. This was his girl. Yeah. I got another girl. She I talked ask like you Michelle A. As soon as I see this, she got like Savannah George or something. It was like, it, but I'm saying though, I tell these people like, bro, I don't know you. If you know me, it's a conversation. Snoopy, I had about. Five phone conversations with him, but I've never met Recently him. Recently or a long time ago? No, when he called me. Right, okay. Um, I was just giving him advice, you know, in his career. Yeah, you said wear tight clothes. No, I said no, lose I the khakis. No, 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 no. <laughs> and the motherfucking jerry curl, bro. So, so here's my question is, how do you think I handled that whole situation? Because it seems like- Nah, they the, say you start talking crazy. The reckless. fans, I don't think I said anything reckless. I think I just kept the energy that they've been keeping. I just let them know how it could get. Which is you I mean could how it could get I could get spicy I could get in there and well, really you know, talk Pum my will shit. Kick your ass. Oh god! But it's not gonna happen. We all know it's not gonna well, happen, it won't right? Happen. I mean, when's he gonna see me? They know where you at. So do it. That's all I said. Why well, tell you? You see, think I'm playing with fire? Yeah, because you know you're gonna call the police. No, I don't know why the, people have to make that part of this whole thing. So I'm if he showed up and said, "Let's get out," were you were you fighting? Nah. Head up. Different weight class. Y'all both tall? 6'2", six, 6'3"? Six, nah. What? No? Nah. I don't know. What? I'm just going to fight this random old dude. No, you talking crazy to him. He talking crazy to you. 
Yeah, no, but I mean, I don't think I'm really trying to do the like mutual combat thing. I'm not gonna like. You don't seem like that type of guy. Square up. This is what I told people on Clubhouse. Adam's not fighting. Either he's gonna kill you and call the police. Or I'm just going to call the police. Or you don't call the police. <laughs> no, I feel like that's good, though. I, I should have that in my bag of tricks, right? I mean, bro. If I can right, do it, why wouldn't I have do it? You right, though. Yeah. You wouldn't be a snitch. You wouldn't be none of that. I'm going to put Gunna on it in the whip. <laughs> and I'm going to put some Boston Richie on the playlist. Kodak, he's going to be on there. Yo, man. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Why are you throwing Kodak name in there, Just bro? kidding. What's going on with you and him? Who, Kodak? Are you still looking for this fucking video of this nah, girl that I don't even I know jumping on one foot? I was trying to find something else. Somebody sent me. I brought this 1950. Yeah, you in the old cars? No. Oh, man. He, I don't know anything about cars. It. I'm out of the loop. I don't know anything about sports, cars, religion. I see you know about bike riding. Got a lot of blind spots, yeah. BMX. So um, no, I talked to Kodak maybe a couple days ago. We got some other business. Okay. You're not mad at him about the leaked verse where he had some additional things to say about 6 9 Adam. Why would I be mad about free promo? Well, you can kind of chalk everything up to free promo, right? I mean, it, it, you don't think 6 9 was offended by it? He didn't respond to it. He didn't say anything about it, right? Well, why would he be offended by something he's heard? Right, but, I mean, he paid him to do the verse. Isn't he kind of paying him to make him look good, not to make him look silly? Well, And then Kodak's engineer was the one who filmed it, and then he put it on the Internet for the world on. to see. They didn't have to see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And now we know why it was 12 bars and not 16 is because they had to cut some of the bars out because he was talking about he's a snitch. And, uh. No, it was only 12. Well, it must have been he longer before. He looped the last couple bars. So if you pay a person to do a verse, you can't tell an artist what to say in the verse. Yeah, you can. You give them a million dollars. No, the fuck you can't. Okay, well, if I'm giving someone a million dollars to do a verse for me and then they call me a dumb, dumb cuckahead on the verse, I'm pissed. You're not getting my million. Redo it. You're not going to slam me on my track, brother. You know, there's an old saying. The truth can never be considered disrespect. Now, I say that to say this. When 6 9 came home, he did a video with a rat head on. <laughs> okay, briefly. Motherfuckers was like, yo, he don't give a fuck. He well, letting you know he owning his rat. That? People were real impressed by that, you think? No, they just- I don't I think mean, anyone gave a shit. He kept it real. Yeah, he tried to make, he tried to roll with the punches. So, why would you be mad now? He owns his truth. Mm, gave him a million bucks. So should he, say he, with him. should he said he kept a gangster? I just feel like, Kodak kind of intentionally, and I think I said that to you on the show. I was like, "What is there anything in this contract to stop Kodak from kind of dissing 6 9 after the fact? Is that song a commercial success? I've heard mixed things. What you mean? I've seen some people trying to act like it really isn't doing that well on streaming. It's doing great. You know, we it's no, not, it's just riding off of him. Okay. You know, playlists and nothing's kicked in. Right. So when they grab it and start grabbing, it's going to keep growing. <clears throat> These days, you got to play the long game with music. I feel like it's girl. Every now and the, then, the you get some shit. The girl's verse sucked. Well, the girl's verse was for Latin America. Why did they give you the cameo during her verse? The best place for me, partner. <laughs> <laughs> nice looking chick, right? <laughs> nice looking chick, right? I guess, but don't you want to be over the like hard part of the song, not the zesty what Latin part? part? Of it was, okay, listen. Mm. You got six nine. That would have looked like mm. I. We gonna do this. Then you got Kodak, mm. who's kind of dissing six nine. Right. So it'll look like I. I'm standing behind that. Then you got the girl in Spanish says something about I fuck with bosses. Mm. Put me right there. Oh, they. That, that was the line when you what were. She on, said. Oh, okay. See, I don't speak Spanish. I don't know what you said. Beautiful young lady. Yeah. Symbolic for trust with 6 9 That's his girl. Mm. I think I was in the right spot. Hey, you're going for the Latin audience. Perfect. John Zerka was pissed off because he didn't get to come on the podcast with you because Destiny didn't want to be on there with him. Yo, did you interview him? Yes. And he wants to come back and do an episode with you. How the fuck did that go? It was fun. We smoked a lot of cigarettes. Dude is burnt out. 
He uses the N word. Who? John Zerka. Yeah, he can't do that. <laughs> he no, really he... thinks because he's Greek that he's black. Uh, yeah, no, no. no. He might be better than like me. Like a Greek guy could maybe get away with it a little no, bit. Well, better. you know, when you say white, like what the fuck is that? Well, think like I don't think anyone's tripping on the Armenians who say the N word from what I've seen. Well, no, I will they say don't, this. They don't get the white classification. <clears throat> I will say this. The N word has become a universally, a universal word for everybody. I, I'll be in line sometime, be a group of Mexicans or whatever, mm -hmm. and they talk to each other like that. Oh, all the time, yeah. So it's kind of like. You can't tell them shit. Nah. Hey. If you want to make a big deal out of it, you can make a big deal out of it. I'm just an observer. Yeah, you can say like, what you say? They're going to be like, we ain't talking to you. Right. So why are you taking it personal? I just hate when I see people being selective with it. I've had friends in the past who would give a whole shitload of Mexican people a pass on it, and then some random Mexican kid would, who was like a pussy and he's alone would say it, and all of a sudden they're on his head like, oh, you, you're not allowed to say that. To now, just as an excuse to bully word. someone. Now, y'all got a word I just learned. My man Jeremy Green came in the room. We got this white girl named Jules. She has a speech impediment. And he called her a wigger. Oh, classic word, yeah. So I was like, yo, what the fuck is that? He like, you know, the white person listens to Tupac and thinks they're cool because they hang with black people. Yeah, I would say I've never a heard any white shit. person that seems like they might be suffering from some sort of like racial dysphoria where they think that they actually are black is probably who's going to get called that. But I had a friend back in the day at a clothing company, and they made a hat with that word on the hat, W-I-G-G-E-R. And I said to him, I said, and what happened? I said, how did that sell? He said, surprisingly, not that good. He goes, a lot of people from a distance are going to make an assumption about what the hat says. And then maybe as they get closer, they're not going to double check to be like, ah, it's a W. You know, people from a distance are thinking that it says the N word and he got a lot of bad reactions from people for when he made that hat. But we use it all day long. Yeah, but with a hard R on a hat as a no. white person, that's a statement. No, what I'm saying is if we hear somebody even saying without the ER, right. we want to kill you. Right. But we use it all day long. You want to see uh, this YouTuber? He's he's yeah. a, uh, what is he, a Palestinian or something? He's a His name is Fusi. Don, you want to? Yeah, yeah. Is that the dude be going boxing people? Yes, I want I want to show you a clip of him saying it. He was rapping along to a J Cole song, and he says it by accident. And his reaction is uh, "fussy n word." His reaction is one of the funniest things I have ever seen. Is the sound on up here? Oh, he said it. <laughs> Look how he reacts. He forgot he was being recorded. He all right, streams so like I... all the time. Like he that's like his whole life is just streaming and just the way he says it right there, and he starts beating the shit out of the bed. Beauty in the struggle, <laughs> it's so good that it's a J. Cole song too. Oh. Or did he get backlash? I think the backlash is probably like mostly in his own head. I don't think that there's a lot of black people losing sleep over this, but I might be wrong. Yeah, Blueface down there made him shit on himself. Blueface did? Hell yeah. What did he do? What happened? He went over there and he let him hit him in the stomach when he was sparring. Okay. Blueface punched him. Hit him, hit the sock the shit out of him. And it was all bad? Pull it up. Yeah, it's, oh, it's like we're streamers out here. We're just pulling stuff up. There we go. Look, this one? No, it's below. Oh, okay. After this, like, <laughs> make that shit a six pack. There we go. Life insurance. Ooh, yo, his stomach looked all fucked up because he had mad <laughs> lipo look, and shit. Look, look, <laughs> blue face, baby. <laughs> yo. I told y'all I'm not gonna. He shorted on himself, bro. Like 
I he sharded. God, I'm not, I'm not even capping. Anyone. No, but I swear to God, out of everybody who's punched me, yeah. out of everybody who's punched me this whole band, that was the hardest punch that I've well, felt so far. I think he uh, he holds it against me that I, I basically vlogged his mental breakdown. He had this like big uh, this big event that he did, and yeah, it was called Fusi Con. Fuck, I'm trying to find it right now because he had a clip the other day where he was talking huh? shit he about views. me. He got a lot of views, huh? I can't find it though, but he did. He had a clip where he, sh he was trashing me the other day. Maybe I could just Google it. Maybe it's on Reddit. Fusi Adam Twenty Two. Am I gonna be able to find it? Probably not. It would appear. Okay, I give up. You ain't that relevant, bro. Well, it is out there. It's just a little harder to find than I thought it would be. All right, I give up. Hey, yo, Adam. So, um, how's married life? Married life is great. How's your life? Has she changed up? No, she's great. No, life is good. Give me about two, three years. Two or three years for me to get angry about her fucking this guy? No, 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 no. That's that already happened. Okay. You just playing a role. What am I gonna get angry at her about? She's gonna change up on you. And do what? She's gonna she's gonna be a little mess a little less submissive, a little more talking back a little more. Mm. Well, then she's gonna have to hit the road. That's a great idea. <laughs> Just don't prolong it. Do it immediately. Get rid of her right now? Not right now. Enjoy it. Let the kids get as much as they can out of it. Okay, but once she starts talking shit. Nigga, don't look up. You're man. gone. Lena, <clears throat> Unnecessary 10, 15 years. Okay. I'm going to keep an extra. Because it's only going to get worse. W what is going to get worse? So far, she's been great. No. The well, seven minute, years in. The minute you start seeing signs of her acting the opposite of what made you fall in love with her, mm. it's going to get worse. That's from your experience? That's what they do? Everybody, yeah, that's what they do. Okay. Do you know what we're doing tonight? I just want to fill you in on this. What? We're doing the first ever Plug Talk live stream. We got two rooms. In one room, we got a podcast, bunch of hot chicks, famous porn stars, and then a couple of different dudes who are male porn stars. And then in the and so it's a YouTube podcast live stream. And then the, in the other room, we have an OnlyFans live stream where they can go in there and fuck. And we can see it on a screen in the podcast room. So we're able to watch it and react it. You so it's a freaky motherfucker. People at home are going to be able to have the TV with the YouTube live stream going and then the phone with the OnlyFans live stream, and they're going to be watching the people fuck just like us, and we can influence it. My plan, I want to eat all the girls' booties. I want to eat, like, six different asses. Wait, 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 wait. But what if the guys start fucking them before that, and then their buttholes got, like, a little bit of, like, dick and ball sweat or whatever, Bro, you know? does your wife know you eat these bitches' asses out? She encourages it. Sometimes she tells me to do it, yeah. Eat her ass, eat her ass. Go, Adam. Yes, that's my boy. Is your yeah. father law alive? Huh? Is her father alive? Yeah. Y'all don't talk. We have a cool relationship. We don't he, talk about this. He knows what's going on. I don't know. Hey, bro. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> It's always been a saying that that's white people shit. This is like the most extreme version of this that. This is the yeah. most extreme version. Yeah, I, I think that's fair. Because you, you let this happen with your wife. Your wife is encouraging you to eat a bitch's asshole out. Mm -hmm. And it's just like you're excited. It's a regular Thursday. So you're going to go in the room. I'm going to go in the room and eat some booty, Yes. And what you gonna let her do? Well, she's not gonna be fucking any of the guys. Why not? We're preserving. She that don't content. eat guy ass. No, Ugh. hell no. Huh? My, mine, sure. That easily falls within the realm of things that she's not allowed to do. Is eating some guy's ass. She can give him head though. Well, that already happened, yeah. With Jason Love. But she can't do it with these guys tonight. No. But you can get him some head. Him? Them. No, the females. The girls, yes. This is one side of shit. I think you should be here when she gets here so the you can tell her that. The minute she finds a porn star 
<clears throat> that's getting more money than you, that lets her fuck as much as she wants to, she's out of there. Well, if she can find a male porn star who's getting more money than me, then she's just, she's going to be waiting a while. You think you're the top paid porn star? Yeah, I guess. I might be the only one with extracurricular business income. No, I mean, I don't want to put anybody down. There might be people who have shit going on that I don't know about. Adam? 10, 20 million? I'm doing okay. I don't know. No, I'm definitely not making 10 or 20 million dollars. But I, I don't know any male porn stars that have a lucrative side hustle like No Jumper. So I, I'm, I'm going to give it to myself. Let me ask you this. I was just watching Vlad talk to Ari Spears about me, which was kind of surreal. He's a very funny guy. Pretty much everything he says makes me laugh, even if it's cruel and denouncing me. Um... And Vlad said, I'm the most famous porn star in the world. I don't keep up with porn, bro, so. I was surprised to hear that. But when I think about it, I'm like. I don't know, bro. Maybe. Okay. But you know what? You the most notable. Thank you. Because of your wife. And you allowed that to happen. I'm a very open People are still in shock, like. Mm. Okay. But you say it's white people shit, right? And I agree with you. Jesus. That is it's definitely something that is probably more shocking to the black community than to the white community. But I will say that out of all the porn stars I know who have long-term relationships with men, many of them are black. Shout out my girl Kazumi. She is in a very, very long-term relationship with a black man. And he allows her to go out and do her thing. He is open minded enough. So it is possible for is a black he porn? man. He does some porn, but I don't think he does like a is ton she of it. Black? No, she's uh Filipino. So he pimping. I don't think he's pimping. I think he's Yeah, he pimping. He's along for the ride. He ain't married to her. No. No kids. But they might get married. No kids. No kids. Not at this time. What are you on your? What are you doing on your phone? You watching Coco Melon? Nah, man. I just somebody sent me something, man. So I was. What is it? It's another ADT shirt. <laughs> nah, yeah. <laughs> I, nice, I, nice hello. It was cool. Oh, a little yeah. booty picture, huh? Yeah. Who's that? Ruby Rose. You talking about a booty picture, bro? Not of you. This nigga, mine is. I showed this nigga a clip of a. Uh, some other shit. He go to booty. You see him trying to think of something. <laughs> if he, if the picture was actually of something besides a booty, you would have had a much easier time thinking of booty. Bro, what makes you? That's not a booty. Picture. Are you protecting destiny now when it comes to LA? Yeah, straight up. Really? He got to come to my studio, hang out all night with the brothers. That I should like be that hilarious. Idea. That would be amazing. I fuck with destiny. You could definitely get your sugar on. Make he him cool. drink some piss or something. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Yo, like, yo, Adam. If he wants to hang out with the big dogs, the roosters. You mean drink some piss? Well, I mean, it's an old death row tactic. Yo, right? like, let's get into your childhood. What do you no. mean death row tactic? I don't drink Who piss. Who told you somebody made somebody drink piss? I'm just trying to foster the WAC 100 image. I think nah, we should tell everybody that you made uh, Remo drink piss. We should no, tell everybody. No, no. It's a brother. It's a black No, I don't man. want to do that to him. But listen. Okay, what about uh, Did you used to like Josh? Did you used to do weird shit to cats when you were young? I used to pour salt on the on a slug and watch them crawl out of their own skin. That's like the only kind of perverse shit that I remember doing as a kid. I never like tortured a cat or anything. Did you eat like live insects? A couple of times, a couple of worms. Yeah, see. You, did you live in a trailer park? No. So you got a fairly decent middle class? Yeah. You know. My parents owned a home. There was a trailer park. Was your pops a couple miles away? No. Come on, bro. Somebody in the house was fucked up. Not really. Uncle, somebody. No, no alcohol. I never saw people drunk until I was much, much older. They didn't drink. They didn't smoke. I'm trying to make sense, bro. Of, of... Do you think I'm sick in the head? I think you're sick in the head. Me. But you're not even basing this on the porn thing. You're basing this on me talking about the, the live you stream orgy about, available at only You're talking about com. eating assholes, the shit you did with wifey. I'm just open minded. Uh, you Peter gazing. Don't use the urinal next to me. Let's just put it that way. You gonna look? I'm gonna hit you with the. Oh wow! I just. <laughs> 
<laughs> you part of the community, bro. I might be trying to get you in the industry, you know? You think you bisexual? No. No? Absolutely not. You never when, thought about it? When I look at a dick, oh my God. the feeling I get is not that of excitement <laughs> or pleasure. It's, it's just kind of The feeling you get, man, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Well, how do you feel when you look at a dick? I don't look at nobody's dick but mine. You were in prison for all those years, so you have more years of guarding your booty hole than me. No, I'm not guarding. We ain't got no problem guarding. Right, but you nobody threatening. When you're li- when you're well, in no prison, threatening. you're living under the threat of ass rape at all times, and no, you always have to be aware of it. I never lived under that threat because you lived in a pre Glock Dookie world. I never lived in that threat. You did though. You knew it was at least an existential threat. That's like we live under the threat of I nuclear war. Happen. Putin could Look, bomb I've us. I've heard it happen. Oh yeah, yeah, you heard it. Yeah, two in the morning. You ever help up. administrate one? No. You lock two guys in the showers? No. No. I don't condone it. Me neither. Okay, can I ask you? Do you have anything else you want to say about the AD and, and pun thing? Um, when are we doing a reunion? Time will tell. Perhaps time will humble them. AD and um, T Rail. I don't know if I really need a reunion with Pun. I don't really know him that well. No, with AD and T Rail, though, yeah. Yeah, no. Maybe once they realize what they have done and they have come to Adam so 22 the black asking man has for to bow forgiveness. Down to you. Hmm? you want the black men to bow down to well, you? Not literally bow, but I'll probably need some sort of acknowledgement of. The fact that they did me dirty. And until then. You went and told 80s business. You fucked up. Fake narrative. That's why you fired the guy. Fake narrative. Did you fire the guy? No. I removed him from one show. Because he did what? No, not AD. The other motherfucker who was live talking about 80s going to be removed and AD didn't know it. He wasn't live. He was just politicking in the discord it would be like someone going on it, it would be like if you had somebody that you did your show with and he then went on clubhouse and started squealing about it to random but people you told classified info you told his business that is not true even ad knows that. Well, how true. did he know i told one of the other hosts on the podcast but then before the information could come out he went and told random people in the Discord, and then those random people in the Discord went and told AD. And to be honest, that didn't really like materially change what was happening. It just gave AD a nice victim card to play at that moment to try to be like, oh, look at look how he was talking behind my back by having a conversation with one of the other co-hosts. So you think AD already wanted to leave? Yeah, I think he was looking for an excuse. I think he thought that it was the right time. Nah. Let me um, ask you about something. Do you know this girl, Tania? Who's that? Tania. I'm going to show you Who's Tania? her right now. She is a woman. She has two kids with Snoopy Badass. And where is she? Where is this beautiful queen? And she recently was dating Crip Mac for a period of time. After Snoopy Badass? Yes. Oh, she nice. apparently has been around in these LA streets for a long time. She's friends with a bunch of people like uh, Desto Dub and whatnot. So, what Snoopy say about it? Snoopy, I would say, is not a huge fan of her at this point. He he definitely is, does not have a positive image of her. Does she look familiar? Oh yeah, yeah, I seen her before. She had a YG song back in the she day. Was fucking with with Crip Mac. Recently, yeah. You want to see Crip it? Mac paid the bitch. Watch this. Watch this. He had to pay her. He, like. Watch this. Tania. She must be mad at Snoopy. Gotta be. This is one of the greatest. She gotta songs. be. Wait. Did they take She it? Oh, kissed that it. nigga? Look at this. This is one of the greatest songs of all time. Y'all just wanna hear him rap. It's you got it. Oh, rap. his verse is amazing. Yeah, I wanna hear it. Mind blowing verse. And she, to be fair, has like a pretty good voice, but oh. she's singing crazy shit. She's saying, he loves the homeless. <laughs> Look, she gets the fire fire oh. in her face. Look at him, he looks hella angry. <laughs> he loves the homeless as part of the chorus. I love that. Blue cum. 
treat you nifty. You love 55th Street. Can I set you by 55th Street? Oh. You love 55th Street. From the 55th Street. Let this shit go, boo. Unfortunately, I hate to inform you, it is a past tense thing. She happened to him because they have now broken up. This came out like five days ago. I think they so were. So Crip Max saying he fucks newbie bitch. I don't know if he fucked her, but I mean, it would appear that they did at some point, but I'm not. Well, I will sure. say the winner in this situation, if that actually happened, was Snoopy Badass. He's the winner because she he, he took made her, two kids with her. She, no, 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 no. This whole situation okay. was designed to antagonize Snoopy Badass. Mm. She lost, right? Unless Snoopy pops up. With a homeless chick with no teeth who ain't showered in eight months, talking about this what it is, right? Um, she didn't get no points from this, bro. This shit is okay. fucked up. But you're an a &R. What do you think of this song? What's your perspective on both of their respective talents and their likelihood of making it? YouTube wise, it's gonna stream like a motherfucker. People are gonna watch the Crip Max Power. Is people watch him over and over again to laugh. Right. He's a funny guy. Right? <laughs> God sent me a hoodster. She said he's a real fifth. I mean, think about what she's doing. She has two kids with Snoopy Badass. Snoopy she ever put her in a video? No, I don't know. But she's That's wearing weird. 55th Street on her face. She's got a blue wig. She's Snoopy got didn't, Snoopy arms didn't take wrapped no around Crip Mac. I mean, she, Snoopy didn't take no L in this one. She's switching sets. He didn't take she's no a hood L in hopper. This one. You consider the her a hood hopper? She did, no, the fact that she did that, <laughs> she looking bad, not him. I don't know what hood she has ever been affiliated she with, if any. Discredit and disgrace upon herself. Now her children got to see this shit one day. She ain't thinking about it. We got to protect those kids from that video. Because the way he was rapping there, you love 50 fish, right? Yo. Unbelievable, God. right? God sent me a hoodster. <laughs> okay, now I have another layer to this puzzle. I Yo, need your wait. thoughts on. <laughs> she has reached out to me, and she would like to do OnlyFans content with Blend of the Plug and I. You gonna fuck that bitch? I did not say that I was gonna do it. I'm saying you that the request is out. You want some black pussy? I have had some black pussy, but not hood pussy. Not a hood stuff. Fuck it, you might as well hit the bitch. Never, never fucked a girl with a gang. Crip of, Mac. Now, you know, I don't think I've ever fucked a girl with a gang. You know you and Crip Mac go. You know what? That shit go viral. Squabble. You hitting Snoopy Badass's baby mama and Crip Mac's ex bitch. That shit go viral. Yes. Um. You got to fuck it. You got okay. to fuck the dog shit out of it. Crip Mac does not have any claim to being angry about it. If I did do OnlyFans with it, but Snoopy See Badass way he has, with Lily Cakes? he has two kids with it. So that, like, you know, me and Snoopy, we're not best friends Are you or scared anything. Scared of Snoopy? I'm not scared of him, but Snoopy, you hit your wife. Oh yeah, I am scared of him. He's the king of Compton, but he the king of what? That's okay, what well, moving on. Uh, he. See, did you really <laughs> just say that? Well, that's what he calls himself. Yo, check this out first. No, wait, you don't wait, believe wait. it? Okay. Bompton is the mecca of Paru. Right. And you a Paru from anywhere, Pacoima, San Diego, Sacramento, we fuck where you from, Bakersfield, Inglewood, Hawthorne, whatever, right? The motherland of Paru is Bompton. It's not right? about me being scared of him. But him saying he's the king of that, He, we need to stop playing with that. Me and him even having a cool relationship at all, I would feel kind of grimy fucking his if, baby mama on camera. You think if he had an opportunity to hit your wife behind your back, he'd do it? You know, I might have to go Chris Benoit on that bitch if she let Snoopy Badass hit. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to let the kids survive. But, but I'm she going to get Now, nah, I'm going to go O.J. Simpson. If he had the opportunity. Yeah. Well, hit the bitch. Do I think that he would? Yeah. See, I would hope that he wouldn't. Fuck what you hope. <laughs> you think he would. <laughs> and tell everybody about it. And hope that it gets him on. Shit, yeah, Snoopy, I can see yeah, him doing you, that. You're right, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. You, bitch, I, yeah. See, dude, Snoopy is like turning into like a November cast member who's only here once in a blue moon but makes such a splash that he's like an important part of the operation. It's kind of crazy. You don't like the uh, sounds I, of I that? I don't really follow him. I don't know his music. He's talented. 
If not, put, put a song on. Let me. You got something? It's going to take forever to clear this episode. Okay. Think so? You want to hear a. a no, no, don't do it. No, I'll play his. He ain't signing nobody. I'll, you know, That's promo signed. for him. I'm going to play you his newest song and, and get an honest opinion from you as a. Who uh, the fuck is that on the side of him? Who's what? that female? Go what? up. Who is that? Oh, that's Brick Baby. Um, oh, you piece of shit. Um, I ain't know. <laughs> I ain't know. Uh, oh, okay. Here we go. The No Jumper Freestyle. Let's check it out. Let's go. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us oh, out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Rich Bloods. Who was that? Him? Like, comment, and subscribe. That's Snoopy right there, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Things ain't going on. We out. Oh, his face turned into a dog. Shots in your whack rap like I ain't catch that. Me when you out here jocking my leftovers, you wanna be me, huh? Trying to fit what I left over. Oh, that was a crit mag disc. <laughs> 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 Him and Brick flexing in the video is hella funny. <laughs> Hard. Hard. Who Come edited? on, whack. Hold on. You know it's hard. Who edited the video? I don't know. I'm not that I don't deep. know. I don't know. Snoopy people? Probably. They did a great job editing the video. Yeah, they turned um, his face into I'm a not, dog face. I'm, I'm not hating on the song. It's not bad, right? I'm a bit, you understand, bro. I'm a business man. Right. I ain't got to like you or fuck with you, but just, you know, I'm going to tell the truth about it. <clears throat> um, I um, I think I might have heard a song years back. Okay. He's gotten better. Yeah. Um, They used to say he was trying to sound like a guy named B. Braves, but he's gotten better. And whoever the fuck is doing the editing to this, this video, they good. Okay. They I think guy. you're going to sign him. Who? You. Nah, because he's a disloyal mother. I'm going to unite the roosters. We're going to make something happen. He's a disloyal mother. No, 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 okay. Well, that's bigger than me. I'm going to give up. Power root. That's some more other power root shit. For sure. But anyway, yeah. You know I mean, what I'm But, I mean, me doing OnlyFans content with his baby mama, I mean, it is just business. So it's like he probably, he doesn't really have no. like a reason to get mad that's about it. But I also, over there. I wouldn't want to do that to him. You know? Fuck his bitch. <sighs> but but not if Crip Mac did. You can't fuck after Crip Mac. Why not? You wouldn't? Oh, man. If you were, if you show up to the gangbang and he's he's in front That's of you in line. Nasty work, bro. Would you do a gangbang? No. Really? I don't share pussy like that. That's what I want to do I on don't the do next four fights. The next live stream that we're gonna do, that's what I want to do. Get one girl and like twelve dudes on the podcast with me, and they all take turns one after the other, dude. But I want to go first. The fact that you're going first, I can salute that. Yeah. But damn, you're gonna do somebody's daughter like that? I mean, there's no telling that she's gonna have a father. Huh? In a perfect world, he would have already passed or something. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> Who Bro, cares? Why do we always have to start thinking about the parents? What you put? Let me ask you. I a have question. to feel bad for her dad Adam, now. Have you ever thought about what you put in the universe going to come back three sixty? Ah, I'm an atheist. My big brother DJ K Slay told me that what you put in the universe comes back three sixty. Long live K Slay. Bro, you have a child. Yeah. You too, Mister Gang Guy. My son is not a gang member. Right, but he's going to have to deal with the fact that his dad was out here politicking on Clubhouse for all no, these years. No, 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 no. My son, 28. Running around with he's shanks. 29 this month. 30 you know, round like you. My son's like you. <laughs> In Lights what way? Firearm. He's gay. He'll shoot you, call the police. <laughs> no, he's not gay. You gay? <laughs> Are you gay? No. Where did gay come from? I was just making fun of myself. You gay? Okay. Shout out to the Hustlers. Shout, Shout out, out to, to my nigga Deco, 89th Street Mary. He's cold. Shout out to the Hustlers. You didn't see the Swamp Stories I'm video about, my nigga about Crip Mac. Six huh? Shout out to the Hustlers. What's up? You didn't see the, the Swamp Stories video about Crip Mac, I'm assuming? Yo, they fucked him over. That's ba- You know, I'm going to do a room on that on Clubhouse. I am shocked that you have not already. No, I have it. A guy sent it to me. What did he do to them little white people? They really did the research. He's looking bad. That was a little much. No, no. When they showed the video of him and YG meeting and then him talking about it afterwards, it's kind of like, ah. No, the nigga been to military school. Yeah. He was born. He, he ain't even right. Like, But, okay, 
back in the day when he's saying he's from Five Deuce Hoover and all that shit, that was him trolling on Facebook. It's not like he ever had no, no, any. No, 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 no. He was talking shit. Don't know neighborhoods troll about Dave from Hoover. This is before he was anything. He wasn't from anywhere officially at that time. He was living in Texas, and he was putting all kinds of made-up gang shit on his Facebook statuses. That stuff I've been knowing about, so that doesn't really move me too much. But So he has to stop with this super OG shit. You ain't been doing it long enough. He doesn't say he's OG. Yo. His rank is below general, because I called him a 55th below Street general, general, and he hit me up to let me know that he is not a general. He's a, a rank below that. I don't know. I'm not in the military. She love a hood stuff. Yo, did you see the um they say they beat the fuck out of ODM Slim? Why you didn't show me that clip? Oh, I did see that video. They whooped his ass. I didn't see that. Was a while. That was like over a month ago. That's another nigga I don't know. Yeah, why they whoop on him? That was a conversation, I guess. Was, I mean, he told me about it, but it was kind of confusing, so I don't want to like be able He was to talking it. real fast, saying nothing. Yeah, he usually talks pretty fast. Sometimes yeah. I have a hard time committing to memory no, what he's talking dude, about. I don't know. You don't, but Yo, he talks about you a lot? I don't even know. Well, he's on Team Lupe. I've never seen this dude. Yeah, you guys travel in, in different life. circles. Yeah. He's a broke motherfucker, oh, man. <laughs> Shout out my boy ODM. The niggas still go to the laundromat. So what? That's what it takes for you to look down upon somebody? He's a broke motherfucker. Broke, busted, ain't been to the dentist since he been 12, and even then that didn't work. So you're telling me that you can't do your own laundry in 2023? Not after packing in the back of the Toyota Corolla, <laughs> 87 joint, one headlight don't work, and drive, get quarters, and get in line. No. You don't respect it? Not at all. Hmm. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Not at all. But... Not no nigga talking about he a street nigga and he all this and all this and all that. Like, come on, bro, cut that shit out. I will be honest. He's telling me everything I ain't, nigga. As soon as I had any money in life, I started paying the Korean ladies at the laundromat to do my laundry because I am ass at doing laundry. I always will fuck it up, so I just started paying them to do it for me. Yeah, I remember. About a year ago. <clears throat> you know, you got the outdoor furniture. Uh -huh. I had covers on them, right? And my dogs fucked them up. It always gets so fucking dirty. So I'm, I'm not finna put that shit in my. So I found the laundry mat. Uh -huh. Now take it. I ain't been to a laundry mat since I've been like ten. Bro, okay. So I start going and put the shit in there. Put the shit. Waiting in the car. The people come out. Sir, sir, sir. Yo, I guess I put too much detergent. The whole motherfucking thing was bubbles. It was suds everywhere, flowing out of it. Yeah. This how much I don't know how to do laundry. Yeah, you can't do it. It's too complicated. Now I, got, I gotta leave home, it no. to those ladies who work. No, the there. shit at home, it has the, you know, it's simple. Mm. I let the cleaning lady handle yeah, it. Yeah, I can't fuck with that. Shout out to my maids. I've been trying to get them to steal from me for seven years. They ain't stole. Multiple shit. maids. I do that too. I leave hella. I leave shit out. Yeah. All kind of shit to be on the counter. I have like five hundred dollars in my fucking little bathroom thing, just like tucked in next to the toothbrush, and I'm always just looking at it just I just need one hundred dollar nah, bill to disappear. Still, You're out of here. Nah, she's great. I give her kid my old clothes, and then sometimes like he goes to school and he'd be like looking, a, he looking a little too fresh, and they start asking him like, "Where'd you get that jacket and shit?" But she told him not to admit, not to let him know who she works for. So he's just in there, just not giving up the information, not saying, "Oh, I got it from Adam Twenty Two. That's cool shit. That's cool, right? Shout out to the maids. <laughs> Yo, so listen, man. What do you got? I keep trying to ask you a question. And you, you're fucking. Yo, um, you, you hit me first. Pause. Bird man. Oh. He got. He called me and cussed me out the other day. For what? Cause I said something about Mac Ten. On here or somewhere else? On oh, Clubhouse. You know, Mac Ten did an interview and Ice Cube did an interview. Seen that? Ice Cube usually doesn't say too much. Right. This time he said some shit. No, he don't fuck with him. He yeah, he ain't reunited. And man. I kind of knew the story. Because I did a Mac 10 interview as well. I kind of knew the story. And uh, so the first car I got was from Birdman. Uh huh. Say, Neff, you know Mac, my nigga. And I, you, my brother, I love you. But we can't be speaking on Mac. I said, Stunner, I wasn't speaking on Mac. I was just talking about the interview they did. Mm -hmm. I ain't said nothing. I fuck with Mac. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, so. 
Um, he like, nah, Neff, you know, Mac, one of us. Fuck that shit. Enough is enough. Right? I said, Stunner, I ain't said nothing about fucking Mac. So I hang up the phone. One hour later, I get another call. Mm. Muggs. Mm. DJ Muggs of Cypress Hill. No. Different the real Muggs. Oh, okay. There's another Muggs. From Inglewood. Okay. The homie, the G homie Muggs. Okay. So he like, whack, I need to holler at you. So I said, let me guess. Mac 10. He like, yeah. We heard the interview. I said, it wasn't a motherfucking interview. I was critiquing their interviews. For the first time, Q like really said more than he usually said. Mm-hmm. He said, well, you was right about some shit and wrong about some shit. I said, did Mac call you? He said, yeah. I said, well, fuck that. I don't want to talk about it because Mac called me about anything else. Why he ain't called me? Mm-hmm. We ain't got no problems. So I'm like, what the fuck was I wrong about? He said, you said that, uh, you know, he got packed out, but he didn't. It was a head up with a football player, nigga. Okay. You know, the, the brother-in-law. And that's what happened. He said that some other things happened that, you know, I can't really talk about. But, you know, that's what kind of did it. Mac never put his hands on him, and the homies never, you know, jumped on him. So I'm like, well, you know what I'm going to do, Muggs? Because I ain't got no problems with Mac and Muggs. You hit my G, homie. I said, I'm going to, when I go do no jump, I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to admit, because I wasn't there when it happened. Mm. I was told what happened, and I guess that's not what happened. Nevertheless, the brother-in-law got his ass whooped, and Ice Cube is a family man, and um, I think if it was left up to Cube, he probably wouldn't have tripped as hard. Mm-hmm. But it's just like you, like if your wife was like, yo, I don't fuck with whack, you know what he did or said. Yeah. Or I did something that, you know what I'm saying, to her loved ones. You know, as a man that being your household, you would probably have to stop fucking with me. I, and mm-hmm. I would respect that. So, no, yeah. If you're, there if, you have it, Mac. <laughs> but God damn it, my number's the same. Uh-huh. Know what I'm saying? Last time I seen your motherfucking ass at the mall, me, you, and Stunner, we walked and shopped and talked. Now you didn't call Stunner on me. He didn't call Mac. See, Mac playing dirty because he called two people on me. He know I listened to him. You, Mac 10, and Birdman were walking around the mall together? Yeah. Uh, what year was this? It was like a year, two years ago. Two years ago, maybe. That's hard. Maybe that? Yeah. I, I What's the store everybody go shop at? The fucking bottom movies. At, uh, what the fuck is that? Nordstrom's. Okay. The Nordstrom's, yeah. I want to go to Bloomingdale's. We you want to go to Bloomingdale's up. together? Nordstrom's and Topanga got some shit. Yeah? Something's going on over there, bro. Something? Something's going on over there. Like, they got a Chanel store going up. Okay. Right? They got different certain stores that go up that only go up in areas that can handle it. Something's going on in that Woodland Hills area. So we should buy the property. Ram- yeah, the, I know the Rams are coming. The Rams. Their training center. Uh, where, where the old roof Chris was, uh-huh. they moved. I know they're tearing that down. Something's about to fucking go on. I'm well, telling you. I'm going to buy property there. Definitely. Go, I don't buy, give a fuck what it is. You should buy a crib. Me and no, you, I'm looking half for one. And half and half on a crib. Let's do it. I'm looking for one. I got the, tra- I got the financial team. My boy Travis Wilson. Travis for the stars. A whole crib just for our podcast. That's cool. Seems they could be like, what, what was those houses they had? They was doing content houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. TikTokers and shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it, <laughs> it was winning for a minute. Well, so they say. You're gonna have all your clubhouse buddies hanging out there, though. Hey, we can get <laughs> good Zeus. idea. We could get <laughs> Zeus to shoot a reality show for us. What's going on with Zeus? Let me wait for me to bring him. Something. I just did the Jason Lee show. Great. That's and my that's brother. a messy motherfucker right there. You went to the spot up the penthouse. Yep. Nice setup. You like that? Yeah, he cool. Fitz Jason. No, you show you a sprinter. He did not show me a sprint. Sprint is crazy. No, we had a good time. That's uh, you know what? Ate I some watched, Doritos. Same I thing you do him. to me. I watched Jason come up. Yep. I watched him come up. That's why I appreciate it. Mm, I same. watched him come up. I was telling him that. You know, it's been it's been good to see his his rise. Yeah, it's good shit. Good dude, man. Shout out Jason Lee. That's my brother. Gonna always be my brother. Uh-huh. He ain't never denied me. I ain't never denied him. Let me uh, let me ask you this. What up? Did you see? The news that came out about Lizzo. That's some bullshit. That's what I'm saying. I'm glad you're on board. That with me. is some bullshit. They try to accuse Lizzo of body shaving. Right. When she's the queen, 
right, of so what? Put your ass out, stomach out, wear what you want to wear. I read that shit in the morning show. My girl, Ru and Aaliyah, and my uh, my man, Daz, and Latif, they was running the content. And I'm listening to the charges. They said they went to an after party, right? They go to after party mm-hmm. where it's not mandatory. She lets us in her VIP, and they start chatting, go, go, go. Same shit they do when people taking shots. Same pe- That's your decision. Right. She didn't make you fucking do that. Who in their right mind would believe that Lizzo is the type of person that the- would be forcing her female employees, other black women that she has gone out of her way to hire, to do these insane things that are listed in this lawsuit? Like, my favorite thing about it is that it basically says that they all went to the strip club together, that she basically forced them to go to the strip club and then forced them to, like, eat bananas out of vaginas and, and Wait, do all this these, freaky shit. Listen, this, you got a strip Why would club. anybody believe that Lizzo was the one club. forcing yeah. them forcing. to do that? You're at a strip club. You went because you're part of Lizzo's whatever thing you can get in. Girls VIP, go to the strip club. They whatever. have fun together. It's normal shit. You didn't have to do that shit. Exactly. You really think Lizzo was going to fire you if you didn't do it? They, they said that she fired these women because they were gaining weight like her backup dancers. A- Kind of fair, because if you're a backup dancer, then you basically, it's part of your job to stay a certain weight, right? I don't believe that Lizzo was going about this in a cruel way. She's obviously been bullied and humiliated her entire life about her weight. It would take some real hardcore evidence for me to believe this shit. I am on Lizzo's side. I'm going to tell you what happened. And Jason Lee is on Lizzo's side, too. So we all riding together to protect Lizzo. Lizzo fired him for whatever reason. Yep. And now here they come with these bullshit ass allegations. Probably some toxic ass bitches that were just creating all kinds of drama and shit. I tell you what though, they'll never get a backup dancer job with nobody else. You gotta love that. Security, managers, backup dancers, you go to saying shit that you shouldn't say, mm-hmm. telling shit you're not supposed to tell because you're not working with that client. The next person is gonna say, shit, I can't trust you. But okay, we need you to reach out to Jay Z and tell him to stop Beyonce from tripping. Because Beyonce on that one on one of her songs, Lizzo is on the remix. She has removed Lizzo from the remix on streaming services. This is literally like one or two days after this lawsuit was announced, and replaced Lizzo with, wait for it, Britney Spears. One of the most deranged public figures of our lifetimes. I think that's a play. How? Where did this come from? This is the craziest that's thing I've DSP. ever heard of. I think the Lizzo version stopped moving. Mm. She using this situation for shock value, put it in there, and it's another DSP. It's another stream of revenue. Beyonce, Not that she needs it. She doesn't need it. Everything that Beyonce has ever done in her career has been calculated and masterfully planned as, as far as I could be. tell. You know, as she's always be. just ran a perfect campaign in terms of her career. So I have to look at this decision and think this decision probably wasn't made lightly. So maybe she does have access to more information that we as the public don't currently have. But it does strike me as one of the more sort of ridiculous moves I've seen in Beyonce's career. Now, that being said, this is a pretty obvious playbook. If you're an aggrieved ex-employee, here's what you do. You come up with this big-ass lawsuit, you present it to the the star that you used to work for, and you let them know, hey, you need to either cough up some more, some money or we're going to the media and we're going to put this story out and we're going to get traction and we're going to get everybody to write about it and at that point, you're still going to want to settle with me because it costs many hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars to go to trial for this kind of thing. Lizzo has every incentive to settle. I really appreciate the fact that she is not giving in, even though I am still open-minded to the idea that she might actually be at fault. But she spend it. What you mean? Well, I'm, I, I do want to leave some room for that because I do think that Beyonce being completely wrong about this does seem kind of out of the ordinary or unlikely. But to me, it does seem like... And, and did you see the video that came out today of Lizzo's backup dancer after the events that are described like she basically has some videos where she seems very happy gleeful like she was having the best time on tour with lizzo 
And then she puts out this lawsuit and characterizes her emotions during that exact time period as her being in extreme distress. And she was so upset. She had to eat a banana out of a vagina in the strip club. Who does that? I've been to so many strip clubs. There are no bana- bananas. There's no eating of bananas out of a vagina. I've never seen that. If there was, I would Where love to get my banana? potassium that way. Let me dig that Where fucking fuck banana, banana out Where's of there. Where's that strip club? I don't know. Yeah, that's nasty. I, I love the idea of Lizzo being a body shamer. Because obviously, that don't make sense. everyone has been body shaming her for the entirety of her uh, career. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't make sense. But I don't buy it for a fucking second until I see real hardcore evidence. Yeah, I'm with Lizzo on this. Jason with Lizzo too. Her. Jason Lee, he's yeah. rocking with Lizzo. He's he's also Yo, standing I up for Snoopy badass with Lizzo attack YG. Previously, I seen now some. as well. I don't know. Yeah, I've seen some crazy shit. Well, when he was airing out his baby mama that we just saw the video, uh-huh. that was one of the things he said about her is that he didn't know that she was fucking YG and his homies and yada, yada, yada. But he also, Snoopy said that he didn't know that she was crazy or toxic or whatever. He was labeling her until he had two kids with her. That's kind of mind-blowing to me. I mean, I don't know how you get through baby number one yeah. without like figuring out what her character is, right? Yeah, that's different. Maybe he was sort of disconnected from the situation. I'm not sure. Might have been. A pussy might have been good. Mm. You know, you get two pussies together, something going to come. Right. No. That went over your head, didn't it? Two pussies. Oh, so you're saying he's. <laughs> this gotcha. <motherfucker. laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Shut up, my man, Snoopy. Oh, um, shit. Okay. You tell me if I'm in the wrong What's with up? this situation. I talked about this on the podcast, and uh, Dub told me that I was in the wrong. I don't think I was in the wrong. And then I had what a per- I had a, a conversation with Greedo, and he he also agreed I wasn't in the wrong. But when I was hit up with the paperwork about Greedo and mm-hmm. accusing him of whatever, my response to the people who were hitting me up was, "If you want to talk to Ten Ninety Jake, I can connect you. He's someone who realistically would be able to." have a valid opinion on if this paperwork was legit or not. Now, I know you have your own paperwork review team and everything. the truth, bro. Sure. That's it. She's great. But that was my response to the people that wanted to expose Greedo. I said, I can connect you to somebody who can give me and the public a fair review of what's out there in terms of documents. Why would put them together? Who? 1090 and Mickey Truth. And let them go over Greedo shit. I would love to. Make that call. Anyway, that I think that would clear it. Am I a bad guy for putting the people who wanted to expose Greedo in touch with someone who could do a fair review of the paperwork? No. Thank you. I think you're actually helping them out. Right. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you why you did it. You did it because you believe what Greedo's telling you. True. So is Greedo mad? No, I had a whole conversation with him, and he told me that I did what I was supposed to do because if you actually are a gangster, which I believe the Greedo is, and I believe he is You're not supposed to hide that. determined to live by that code. <clears throat> who told you you was wrong? Uh, Well, really, Dub was the only one who said I was wrong, although I think he was kind who? of fucking around, too. Desto Dub, off a lot of cough syrup. Yeah, he ain't. He just sell clothes. Like, <laughs> where he from? He's from where he's from? Where he from? 60s. Is that where he from? Yes. No shit. I don't know how deep he got into it, but that's where he grew up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, but okay. That's why he got weird on me. I never knew that. But um, oh my, God. nigga got weird Cut. on me. Weird in him? He got weird on me. Oh, he got weird on we you. We supposed to do some business. Really? He sent me designs and everything, and then he just went dark. I never knew why, so I get oh, it. Because you 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 be talking a little spicy. Yeah, I could see that maybe. Uh, you know, I just went and spent money with him. I never knew he was a gang member, but for Desto to say. You're wrong for putting people together that can really go through the paperwork and find the truth. That's some bullshit. I don't think he was, like, super serious about it. He was just kind of saying it. But, yeah, like, if you really believe that snitching is that bad, then you can't be opposed to the Get idea to the of, of, of a fair analysis of the paperwork, yeah, right? Real. Yeah. Um, paperwork, bail receipts, all that, I don't give a fuck. You're obligated to show those things. Mm-hmm. I don't argue with people about my cases. I give them the case numbers or I give them the paperwork. I keep it on me. Mm-hmm. I keep my whole rap sheet. Respect. I'll send it to you. Here you go. Right. And we go do your own research. And I mean, Greedo just did five years in prison in which I'm sure. That doesn't mean he couldn't have told. 
Right, but I'm saying. What if he's supposed to have been doing 20? He was. But, uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, he was supposed to do 20. He ended up doing like five. Well, they do third time in there, right? Something like that. Huh? But, I mean, yeah. I, wait, wait, I, we got to clear that up, though. I, 20, I, uh, 50. Yeah, I mean, nobody's 10. making the accusation that he got out right. early because he told them something. That's 25% is five, though. Right. He should have did a little more. Well, maybe he didn't get a full 20. Maybe he got, what, well, 18, yeah. 17, something like that. But uh, either way, you know, I, I, I felt like if there is paperwork going around, the best thing that you can do is send it to somebody who would be able to give a fair analysis. Now, maybe I should have gone with Mickey Truth. But that's no, what I we need to deaden this shit. Let's put 1090 and Mickey together, and they're going to comb through it. Let's get him a couple of days. I'm gonna tell Mickey and your man already didn't come through it. And then he already they did. Go lock yeah, I feel like he already did his analysis. How about this? How about oh, you wow. and 1090 Jake in a uh, steel cage? That's cool. I'm with that. What, what What do we have to do to get you and him on the same page? What you mean? You hate him. Like what's What's, what's up with that? They tell me a rat. He He called you a rat. No, he said he's a rat. Oh, that shit. No. He told on the motherfucker. No, right? he didn't. He was a little kid. He just told the cop, like, yeah, somebody else did it. How old was he? I think he was like 12 or something. Maybe yeah, 14. I went to jail at 12. Okay. Want to see my rap sheet? No. <laughs> he points, I got it. He points at the phone. <laughs> I got the rap sheet. Okay. I'm just saying, I, you know, you can't be doing that. Okay. Then again, he's a white dude, right? Yeah. So he probably like a little white kid. Yeah. Because he yeah. like, a, like a, a blood or something, right? Yeah. I guess maybe I got a hard time with that. The white blood thing? No, I got, you know, it's white homies' it's bloods, it's Mexican homies' it's bloods. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't know you uh, had Mexican bloods. That's... Yeah, my homie Slick, the homie Slick, <clears throat> Capital of the Park. Okay. No. Uh, we should do a hood vlog. We can do that. Where are we going? Where you want to go? That's easy. Yeah? Yeah, no jumper pulling up. They fucking with that. You know what we can do? What? I know where we can go. Ooh. Lantana block. <laughs> Go to the Lantanas, bro. You ever been over? You, no. You heard it? Really kind of missed my opportunity. Have you heard of that neighborhood? I have, yeah. Lantana. Heard it's a great community. Yeah. I've been over there. They got this dead end <laughs> with this little area. You go to the little gate. It's crazy. Yeah. We can film there. Can't nobody run. <laughs> yeah. No jumper hood. For sure. We started in Lantana. Oh, you know what? It would have been so good, though. Was... You got Mr. Gonzalez Park right there. Yeah. That's him. Little Mr. John. Gonzalez? That's Mr. Gonzalez Park. Sounds good. On the fingers. He's in that motherfucker every day. I'm him there. And I, I might, him just, and homie I might Don go Juan. stop by today after him we finish filming Him and the homie Don Juan are yeah. the gatekeepers of that motherfucker. Really? I'm going to go t- tap in. Yeah, Yeah, for real. You Don Juan? Don Juan. He I heard G-O. he's quite a ladies man. He a G homie. No? Okay. Might be a different Don Juan. I think his wife left him. Really? But he got a job working for the city. He a G homie. You're really just putting him on blast here, huh? That's my homeboy. Okay. We'll do the next episode live there. You don't give a fuck. No. We might need the steel cage, though. (laughs) We'd go up. Whatever hood has a steel cage is the dominant hood. That'll be some shit. If that became the norm. If there was a steel cage in the park. A UFC octagon. With the cameras up. A That'd UFC octagon money. in every in some every money. park in LA. That would make some money. Once I get money, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna contribute to to, mean, get to create an MMA Adam, you culture. About, there. You gotta be worried about 20, 30 million. No, nah, I'm just barely getting by. I'm like Bill Gates. Balling, no Gucci belt. You wear Gucci belts. Yeah, sometimes. You like that that box of clothes I got you? Yeah. Shout out to Sugar Hill. I'm yeah, ready I'm to fun. see this motherfucker walking around in some shredded up in. jeans. You're going to be looking heel. fresh. Shiggy heel. Mm. I'm going to go buy some crazy ass shoes to go with it. Some shit I ain't supposed to wear on purpose. You got some Gucci shoes on right now. I oh, mean, these are my lounges, my OGs. You got some snakes on them. That's pretty OGs, cool, man. Bro. I'm not mad at that. You know, when you go in them boxes, you be like, what the fuck is it in? Right. Oh, shit. I forgot I had these. Yeah. Throw them off. Easy. You know, back in the days, older shoes were like you couldn't wear them. Now they like vintage. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, Wait, so older designer you couldn't yeah, wear. Now, 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 if it's been a couple years, yeah, you, be like, you oh, throw man, it on, it's like, them. ooh, I, I remember them. Those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I wish I had all the shit that I had 
2017 or some shit. That would be nice. You start balling and got them checks, you threw it away. You just throw it away. It's always like I lose the inserts in the shoes or just get a scuff on it. You can go buy throw some it inserts. Dr. Scholl's. Yeah, but that's a lot of work. I'd probably rather just throw them out. So, um. So, um. Adam, um, Adam. AD pulled up today, as y'all see. Okay. The, I, have, I have a couple more questions I want to ask up, you. Why were you going off on Ruga on Clubhouse? I didn't hear it, but I heard who, about it. Who is Ruga? Ruga from Chicago. Ruga, who the fuck is he? This is what... Which was Ruga? Remo wrote this down for me. I don't even Ruga? know. But let's let's see what happens when we search it. Ruga Wack 100 Clubhouse. Yeah, see, somebody else already Ruga, searched it. Ruga, who the fuck is Ruga? Ruga and WAC 100 have heated exchange and hip hop trends. Where are you at? 25,000 views. I should really have watched this. Oh, and Big Folks was engaged in it as well. Big Folks was here earlier. Oh, Big Folks. I don't think I got into it, did I? Bloods I, I, versus GDs. WAC 100 goes at it with JH Ruga on live. Oh, uh, no, I think him and Big Folks. Oh, I was telling him Big Folks is a real dude. He was here this morning. Yeah, no, that's Probably the homie. still here. That's the homie. Um, him and Ruger was at it. Okay. And uh, I told him, you know, I think Ruger whoop. I told him folks would whoop his ass. The big folks would whoop his ass. Yeah. I just, yeah, I'll probably give it to him too. But yeah, I don't know that dude. No I, offense to I came Ruger. In, I came in the room and um, and um, they was at it. I don't know why Ruger don't like big folks. GD on GD violence. I don't know. Something's going yeah, on. Yeah, I don't know. Something's I, I in gotta... the air. So why are you in the studio with uh, Troy Ave? What's going on? You working on something? What are you working on? Comeback? We got. To, we gave him two hits. Shout out Molly Maul. Remember Molly Maul? Yeah. He's out. He is. Yeah, so you know Molly Maul got. He threatened me. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, he was mad after I interviewed Black China, And he, he like sent me his number and told me to call him, and then I never called him. Why? That wasn't his bitch. I don't know. He's on the he's a, he's a Black China sympathizer, I guess, or he felt like he was supposed to defend her. So what? You fucked over Black China? I interviewed her and she walked out. I fuck with Black China. What you say to her? I was just asking her about all the rappers that she had dated, pretty much. Rappers she dated or rappers she smashed? A little bit of both. What she say? Not a lot. She walked out. <laughs> She wasn't feeling it. I, I I don't know if he was still angry like years later. Because it's not like, like even Black China was never like angry. She never hit me up like pissed off about how that conversation went or whatever. I feel like she probably thought it was a waste of time. You seen her? She like uh, took out all her. She looks different, right? What she is looks that good. about? And she look good, man. You she like that? Like she went natural. I like a plastic woman. I mean, you know. When are you going to get your wife ass done? She already got it done. Not for real, though. Like again? No, like get it done. It's not done. No, she has a BBL. You disrespecting my wife's, my wife's ass? I'm going to throw the Starbucks that, at your head. That ain't what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> you know I knew that, right? I don't know what you know. You told me, motherfucker. Don't you ever disrespect the I size of my wife's troll. ass. I was doing a little troll. Yes, she, she's going to laugh at that. She's going to be like, asshole, you told him when I met him in the hallway. Did I tell him? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I mentioned that? <laughs> I love a BBL. I'm not going to lie. But I'm kind of like... She a, did a good job. I'm against the idea of her getting another one. No, don't do another one. I feel like as soon as you get two... It's going to spread. It never really works out right. Oh, she wants another one? Because it looks pretty natural. Yeah, don't let her get another I one. I feel like if she gets another one, it's going to be bad. Yeah, she needs to stop. Stop her. Yeah. She needs to just chill out and have some kids. Stop. But no, um... Chill out. Like we her. was in Vegas at the fight. You know, uh, Tr Troy was at the fight on the floor. Seen him. Wait, what? He was on the floor at the fight. Who? Troy Ave. Ah, uh, that's how you tapped in with him. Well, no, I tapped in for him from Clubhouse. Right. Wolf, the queen, queen of the trenches. You know that. That's his. Um. Um. I believe that's his girl. Like he knows her. Okay. Right, and uh, they're very close. <clears throat> but um, you know, we kind of start communicating. I met Troy back in like 2014, 15 with K Slay. Okay. So um, I knew he was in town. And I went by Molly Maul house. Molly Maul is known for having a few hits in that fucking hard drive. Like you know, Molly beats got or like, like choruses already. Beats, songs, sampled, everything. Molly mm. got like a whole six acres. Crazy shit. Studio, basketball courts, fucking mansion, fucking all kind of shit. Can I get an interview with him? You got yeah. a story to tell, bro. 
No, he didn't do it for me. Hmm. Maybe no, his house is crazy. If he doesn't beat my ass, then I guess I can think. You want to go to his house and do it? He might be on house arrest. He might kill me. Nah, 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 nah. Molly, good dude. I don't know. Molly's big. Listen, bro. I should find his bedroom, bro. Listen to me. Listen. Yeah, his bedroom. Pause. His bedroom. What about it? Crazy. You're getting a little zesty here. No, 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 no. What are you saying? Fuck that. I don't give a fuck what you saying. <laughs> you come in the bedroom, right? You got pause. No, no. Listen, nah, nah. <laughs> I, nah, nah, I got to get credit where credit's due. <laughs> the nigga bedroom is bigger than some niggas' houses. Okay. You come, okay, you got the, the overall bedroom. You got the suspended bed, got a, a whole full-size fridge, right? Right. Besides chairs, all this shit, right? Mm. Then it's a wall, right? You remove the thing on the wall, right? It opens up to a scar-faced spiraling staircase mm. going up. To a motherfucking bed like a Shaquille O'Neal bed. It's another bedroom in the bedroom. Secret fuck lair. Swear to God, bro, y'all see this shit? Spirals up, spirals up. All right, then you go the other way, right? You got these huge ass closets. Then he got the motherfucking koi pond around Ooh. the motherfucking step down jacuzzi tub. I might fuck a fish. Right? He got the sauna. Uh huh. The triple showers. Yo. The nigga bedroom got to be, I no lie, his bedroom has to be at least 1,800 square feet. Wow. How's he got so much money? He's a businessman. Damn, that sounds like a lot of business. No lie, bro. You got to check it out. We go out there. Yeah. But anyway, to, uh, Troy Ave left. Two hits, one of them, that's a universal. I don't give a fuck what y'all say about him. He's gonna take him there. He's out of here. You think he's there's still yeah. time for him hit. to be, me and gang become got a, huge? Me and gang got a platinum album, album out of Molly. Molly got, we produced a lot of songs. Didn't they say that he had? That he went to jail for pimping, right? No, he went to jail for. Um, he was running an escort service, which he was licensed to run. So I don't know what the technicalities was, oh, but so he thought it was on the up and up, and it just he did wasn't. like eighteen months. Yeah, he went and came home. Okay, I thought he was running like sort of a regular ass. No, no, he had office. Thing. You know, it, it's legal to run an escort service in Nevada. It is. But so well, he, he had an office. He didn't have his paperwork right? He wasn't doing it correct? Could have been something that was off, and they used a technic, uh, some technical I shit. I wonder how much he's able to say about it publicly. Oh, he done well, his time. Well, well, and then, yeah, but is he, is he, like, fully out? Yeah, he's out. But he hasn't done any interviews since he got out, as far as I can tell. Yeah, he'll do one with me. Hmm. Molly Mall shares Gucci Mane lean story. These are all from like nine years ago. No. Molly Mall shows off his exotic animals. He used to have monkeys and shit running around there. See, Vlad posted that two years ago when he got sentenced. Vlad. What about Masika? She was in here the other day. I didn't even know who she was. Masika, God. I fuck with Masika. Damn, she is hot. Masika, I ain't seen her in a while. That's the whole group. Oh, you're calling him? Yeah, let's see. Put oh, on no, speaker for right. This is my brother right here. Yo, Molly. Yes, sir. You know me and Adam got a segment we do, the Adam and Wax show, right? Yeah, Adam is cool as fuck. Yeah, that, but he didn't seem to think y'all got a problem. I'm like, Molly, no, you're coming no, 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 no. behind no, no, Black no, China. I'm not really wrong. Adam. Yo. No, just China had called me one time. She was crying. You know, that's my sister. She called me. She was crying about something. And I was like, I'm calling him, talking to him, and, I'm telling him. I came out too aggressive. I apologize for that. I oh, said no, if Molly, I didn't take it. He, I crazy, said if Molly yeah. would do an interview with anybody, he gonna do an interview with Wack One Hundred. Yeah, for sure. You just gotta, you know, I gotta wait till my shit is ready. Nah, we come to you. Yeah, but the, Yo, you, you have stuff you can't talk about right now. Footage of that fuck. I'm thinking about eighteen hundred square feet. I could be off. What is the square footage of that fucking bedroom? Uh, I, 5,500. That top was way off. 6,500? 5,500. I mean, Jesus. The bedroom. Like, this is crazy shit. You ain't got to come out. See, you now you see why I was talking about. They're talking about Paul, you saw that zesty. Fuck that. My <laughs> brother, my homeboy, got a major accomplishment. No, that I'm, is some serious shit. I'm not taking anything away from him. It's just the way you were talking about it was making you seem a little. Nah, you got to talk about it like that. Okay. The nigga has a. <laughs> look, you come in, the bed is fucking suspended. He got a whole fucking full refrigerator. It's a wall over here. You hit some shit, it slides. It's a spiraling staircase, a scarface staircase going up to a bed. How big is that bed, bro? It's like a five king sizes. Some crazy shit. What is it? What do you call that size of that bed? 
Huge. Like some triple Shaquille O'Neal shit. No, then you got to go down the hallway, the closets. Nigga got stepped down, jacuzzi tubs, saunas, all kind of crazy. I said 1800. We talking about the bed. Fuck the living room. Fuck the kitchen. Fuck all the other shit. It's cr- you got to see this shit, Adam. It's crazy. Nothing but respect. Well, there you go, man. Listen, you live on No Jumper. Uh, we need your clearance to keep your voice on here. Does your brother have your clearance? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, there sir. we go. I'll call you when I come out. Appreciate you, brother. Hey, appreciate you, man. Your clearance team loves me, bro. Look at that. You just cleaned up a problem for me in these streets. There you go. You need a friend like Wack. There you go. You need a Pop friend Business. Like Wack. People don't know how to separate the streets from business. That's crazy. Black China called them crying. She probably did, bro. You fuck with, I fuck with Black China. She good people. Me too. She cussed me out a gang of times, though. Yeah? For no reason. I just don't about pay no what? attention. Um, one time I booked her on the show at um the strip club over there. Mm-hmm. Wherever the fuck that is. And um, she just pulled up and cussed me out. Mm-hmm. Where's my money, motherfucker? Whoop, 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 whoop. I said, China, I handed you the money two minutes ago. Right. After I did that interview with her where she walked out, I could tell that this was a pretty regular type of thing because her manager came over to me and was like, thanks, man. Good doing business with you. Like, Who was he, the manager? I forget, Loose Cannon? I forget, but he was just so unfazed by it. Like, it was just so normal yeah. to him that I was like, oh, okay, this must be what it's like to work for a crazy person. She's not crazy. Well, She's just unique. She's on the spectrum. She got great music. Yeah? She came to my studio. Now you've gone on this podcast and told a lie. No, she came to my studio and plugged up. I remember listening to a bunch of her music before I did that interview, and every single song was basically like a fake version of the rapper that she got on the feature. She no. had like a Trippy Red song, and she's kind she of sounding like Trippy Red. With, it was um, fucking funny. With Loose Cannon. And like, I shocked the shit out of me. I don't want to take anything away from her. I mean, this was like within a year. I don't know how long ago you heard something. I love her. That's like my ideal woman right there. No offense to my current wife. Would you leave your wife for her? Well, you said she got everything removed, right? So I don't know if she's plastic enough for me at this point. Uh, she still look. I mean, she looked good. I mean, shout out to her. Yeah, but I hate the natural. It's a lot of our ladies going back natural, you know. Uh, yeah, what is that about? Stay fake. Fuck you mean? They're trying to live. Stay that fake. That shit's killing people, bro. No, it's not. The only reason why the BBLs are so deadly is because people be getting bullshit versions. If you get a high-quality BBL, you will live. HQ BBL. What's that? That's your new brand? High quality. <laughs> After diapers, it's BBS. High quality HQ. <sighs> Man, you should have seen me, bro. We were staying at the Ritz out in Laguna Beach yesterday. Oh, that's a nice guess hotel. Guess what my kid was rocking? Incredible diapers. You feel I'll me? I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Check this out. I even got some photos of her rocking it, but yeah. I didn't want to send it to you because I thought you would post it. We're not posting her anymore. No, I wouldn't post it. Her little ass never going to be on Instagram again. No, I wouldn't post it. But you got to remember, your kid's going to be famous. So 10, 15 years from now, I could put that up in my office. My kid is not going to be famous. We are not the Jenners. It's not no, happening. I think, it's not going to be a Kardashian-style childhood. Be, well, nah, Shout out on. to them, but I'm just not trying to use come my on, kid bro. to make money. Come on, bro. That's not for me. All right. Live orgy tonight. Wack 100 will be gone, but if you get tested, you can come by, play some pipe for us sometime. Huh? Hit your Western Wiggle. No? Yo, but them dudes be having fake tests. No, that will get you blacklisted from the industry. Them dudes, what's that dude? That one black dude. Who? I think Brian Pumper. Mm, no. It's he, another one. Brian Pumper had a different lick. He would meet a girl, fuck her, film it, then send her to the clinic the next day to get tested. That's not allowed. You got to get her tested in advance. But if they find that shit out about you, it's pretty easy to get blacklisted out the porn industry. It's kind of crazy. Yo, so it was one dude, bro, who was faking I'm, his- I'm wondering who you're thinking of because there's actually a dude that I tried to get on this Plug Talk Maybe. live stream, and a girl told us that he faked the test and that he was kind of sort of blacklisted from the industry. It was a dude. No I don't know dude. if it's the dude that I, uh, the, if you're talking about the same dude I'm thinking of, but- that is that's crazy. Like, th- like my team is just telling me, like, damn, I can't work with somebody that I have a good relationship with. Pause. But that they, that I can't work with him because he maybe allegedly faked the test. Did he just go take the test? 
I don't know how he went about faking it. I mean, maybe he went in on Photoshop and he if changed the date. They got fake passports, fake IDs. They got fake tests. Yeah, but the way we send our tests in now, it's like you need a password to access it, and everybody has to. I, I mean, the way that they have it now, it seems like it would be hard to fake. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that freaky dicky shit up to y'all. I'm gonna stay freaky dicky solo. People in the comments, let us know what you want us to talk about with Flacco. You know he's going to come with all kinds of messy-ass questions. That nigga Flacco, he can't wear them shorts, though, bro. Yeah, his Liberian shorts. Yeah, them shits ain't cool. Yeah. That nigga running around here looking like an elephant. A we had a, f- a few different people in the office at various times have gone to HR and basically said, hey, Flacco's legs are... Uh, a microaggression. They're they're making it hard for me to go to work and do my thing because the legs are just a little too. You remember Buffy the Body? They try to, shout out to Buffy the Body. He has that effect on people, bro. Come on, bro. You can't fucking compare Buffy the Body to fucking fly. <laughs> get the I fuck can. out of here. Bro. <laughs> it might be inaccurate, but I can. Let's look at her before we get out of here. Hey, what you mean? She was a working. Shout right, out bro. to Buffy DJ K Slay Amina. I remember that whole movement, that era. Buffy the body, bro. Let's check it. Oh, she, she was beautiful. Was? What do you mean? I, I mean, I'm sure she still she's is. beautiful anymore? Are they going to have... There's no, like, good booty pictures, though, right? Hey, all of them is ass pictures. What the fuck you Look mean? Look how few po- photos of her there are on Google in general. I know. That's crazy, right? Like, there's just there should be way more. Yo, I seen a picture of that girl. Remember the one Q from World Star was um, pushing? Not so much. Bro, she's a fucking crackhead. Why does she have baby pictures on her website? It fucked me this up. This is not bro. what people what want. Name? I love that she has a blog spot for her fucking Cubana website. Lust. Oh, yeah. What happened to her? Bro, pull it up. Pull it up. It's going to fuck you up. Oh, she's a drug head. Oh, now. my God. Yes, Cubana I've seen was that. bad as a motherfucker. Yeah, look at this. Yo, this shit is nasty work. Yo. Yeah, pull it up. That's oh, what my the God. Fuck? Bro, look at what that drug the drugs did to her. That really makes you think about the chicks that you see in Skid Row different. Oh, they could have looked like God, this a couple years bro. back. Cubana was, bro. I, I, I Damn, seen that bro. shit. Look at that shit, bro. We need better for our video That's girls. Fuck. All up. our video vixens, we need more for them. See, look at how sh- how trash Buffy the Buddy's website is. How is this even fucking real? What can I contact I her really about? Think she's, uh, it hasn't been updated since 2018. Hosting and modeling. She needs me in her Shout corner. out to Amina and DJ K Slay. Yeah, shout it out was to all the team at one time. Look at the video. Oh, she has a YouTube channel. Oh. What kind of I content mean, will we find on here? Got. Don't start your clothing business until you watch this video. 2,000 views. Blacks don't support black businesses. Damn, she getting political? <clears throat> Hit those arms from all angles. She's doing a little bit of workout content. How to not look like a football player. 26,000 views. I want to see what's the most popular content. Standing ab workout 2015. This is eight years ago, and it has five, five million. million views. People are horny. Look at that, that ass is crazy. Look at that. Yeah, I need to see a better angle though. Come on. What the fuck? She just they just keep showing the same thing over and over. Stand up, lady. They watching that ass jump. Yeah, but I, okay, here we go. There's a little bit more. But she's like the prototype for what all these chicks want to look like these days. They just don't even know it. Her influence is invisible to their eyes because they Shout think- Shout out to Buffy, They man. think they're just trying to look like girls on TikTok. All right, I've seen enough. Shout out Yo, Buffy man, the Body. We got a video shoot with Young Magnificent. We're Today. shooting gangbang, yeah. I'm okay. Like, fuck around, miss that motherfucking shit. All right, I'm good. Shout out to WAG100, appreciate you. Perhaps next week's episode will be a little bit more inspired. Maybe we can get him get off his phone. What you mean, bro? Fuse. This is fuse, bro. That's they fuel. said they got a no fume. Fume. Fume vapes. They won't put the money up. I think I've done ads for them as well. Yeah. You you, you want to do some business with them? Yes. All right, I put you every on sponsor. Yeah, but you heard that. Fume vapes. Go fuck with it, bro. Go fuck with it. All right. Shout out to everybody who watched this. Fuck the ops. Fuck the who? Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, you mean I? Cause see, bro, I'm trying to be vague. Yeah, you're trying to slide some shit up in there. No, bro. I'm just I'm being vague. Cause then you're gonna say you said something to his face. Bro. I was talking about Russia. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Appreciate Shout out you, to Putin. Shout Let's out to go! Putin. Go.